So today what we are going to see is an uh, uncomposite provider. So uh, SAP HANA composite provider 2.PW4 and 2.4 version SAP introduced some of the enhancements to the existing composite provider uh, you know what we have. Uh, the existing composite provider earlier versions we already discussed in my previous video. So it is uh, available under BW4 HANA English playlist. There are two uh, two videos are there on composite provider, and even in the interview questions also I explain detailed information about the composite provider, how to create composite provider, what are the benefits, you know, usage, how to use, and all we discussed there. In this session, mainly we are discussing about the you know enhancements what SAP newly brought to this into composite provider. So here when I go through this, additionally what it did, additionally join types are now available. Means apart from the existing joins what we have in composite provider in the latest 2.4 version we have full outer join right outer join referential join these three are there okay and what else there are two more new type two new node types aggregation node and projection node so we will see in detail about what is aggregation node and projection node in come in some time okay so let's cover this aggregation node concept first and then we will discuss the remaining points also so for this what I am doing, I am going to my you know, BW4 HANA system, I am trying to create one composite provider. So I have already one ADS4 created, uh, already available in the system. So if I go to my SAP logon pad, I am logging to my P4 HANA system. Using RSMNGT code, I can show you the data available in my ADS4. Okay. You need to this display active data content. So in this, uh, what you can see, we have five records are there, and uh, data at document level and for material level. So if I sort my data on material level for M1 material I have three records and M2, M3 I have one one record each. Okay, so now why I am showing you this one? Now we are going to use this uh, ADS4 and creating a composite provider and uh, show you the new features what we have. I am creating composite provider SR underscore P cell 5. Okay, I am clicking on finish button. So the normal uh, ADS for composite product creation, so everyone knows it. So generally what we do, we drag and drop, uh, you know, uh, we either we can drag and drop or we can go to either union or join nodes like this. So what I can do, I can drag and drop my ADS for into this union so that it will come here. I'm adding all my fields into the target. So in the, uh, <clears throat> in the enhancer features, what else we have is we can easily create duplicate columns. In older version, to create a duplicate column, we need to do some tricks and you know tricks. We need to play some tricks like you know changing the technical name of the existing one and adding one more time that original one will get duplicate records. But in the latest version, we can simply right click here, click on duplicate field. So automatically SAP you know brings new duplicate field here and with the new technical name, you can drag and drop you know. But at the same time, SAP not providing this mapping information. You need to map it manually. Okay, and we have an option to create calculate column also. Okay, separately as of now, I am removing this field. So we have a union node. We have underlying. We have ADS4. If I right click on my ADS4 here, part provider. We call it as a part provider. If I right click on my part provider, I have two more new options called aggregation on projection on. So on which part provider you create? Click right. You did the right click on top of it. If you click on projection, then you see on top of it a projection is created. Okay, so generally projection means uh, it is only for the filtering and removing unnecessary columns. Um, you know, if we use this projection, uh, just like calculation view, whatever functions we have in calculation view, SAP try to bring uh, those uh, concepts also into the composite provider. That's what my understanding. So on top of projection, for example, if I right click on the projection, again, I can see here aggregation on. I'm clicking on aggregation on. So what happened is on top of projection, I am creating aggregation. If I directly create aggregation on the say on the ADS4, it uh, the output is not coming as expected. What output I come into that point? Okay. So on top of my projection, I created one aggregation node. So in the aggregation node, uh, what we can do? We create. We can create some new calculated columns. So what type of calculated columns here? We can perform. Uh, you know. 
uh, we can defer you know we can define aggregation um, levels here so max min and summation three different aggregation you know can, uh, properties we can set here so what i am going to do is i am going to create at aggregation node level i am going to duplicate my quantity column okay and changing the aggregation behavior to maximum and I click on okay so but you see i am missing the mapping so i need to do the mapping again even though it is a duplicate column it must be mapped from the source so i did the mapping uh, so what is the difference between this uh, g uh, g uh, quan and uh, g quan underscore zero here i changed the aggregation behavior to maximum and the top one we have the aggregation behavior as summation okay <coughs> Now, if I go to union node, the newly created calculate column is not yet added to the output. So I need to add it to output create assignment. Now, if I go to output section, so here I can see my newly added column and the uh, defined property of aggregation. Okay, I'm activating my composite provider. After activating composite provider, now I am going into my, you know, Excel analysis for office. Here, I will try to see my uh, output. So I'm selecting my query. A composite provider sorry i'm selecting my composite provider sr underscore p cell 5 yeah i'm i didn't create any uh, bex query i'm directly doing my you know data preview on the composite provider level i have five records the number of uh, row count is certain i have five records when i drill down with material you see for m1 material i have triple one on one column 100 on another column so why on the second column we have 100 because on the second col second column is nothing but our newly created column which contains you know uh, which where i changed the aggregation behavior to maximum so for m1 material in my backend data set if you see for m1 material the max value is 100 so for that reason i'm getting here 100 so these two are single records so 5150 i'm getting and if you see the overall result also impacted with this uh, total so out of 100 550 the maximum is 100 so on the overall result also sap is giving you know applying that uh, uh, behavior aggregation behavior okay so this is how to apply um, create uh, aggregated columns uh, on your composite provider level so where exactly sap is saying this point here you can define calculated fields in the target structure to do this you have defined sql expression in the hana sql so we can create calculate columns at the same time uh, you can use the aggregation node to change the aggregation behavior of a key figure in the target structure so the example which we seen is nothing but this point okay and i shown you projection is a must before doing aggregation so what happens if i don't define projection you know before doing this aggregation so i created one example for this purpose so where it is sr underscore pcl3 if you see here in this composite provider i directly created aggregation on top of my ads4 and if you see i created similarly just like how i shown now um, i changed the behavior of this uh, column to maximum and cheek one map it to same quantity and i did everything just like now but if i try to see data preview of this uh, sr underscore pcl3 go to insert select data source this particular aggregation behavior is not working as expected in this composite provider and if you see here both places i am getting same value okay so this is a uh, i which i get to know with my r d uh, it was not mentioned exactly in the uh, blog but uh, you know I, you see both values are coming as same but whenever i am using projection node before aggregation i am achieving that proper value okay so that is one thing so in what else uh, joins i am not going to explain it till because uh, full out or right out or join this we know uh, we already know uh, so i am not interested in this one um, a part provider can now appear more than once so this is also one of the interesting thing a part provider can now appear more than once in a com individual composite provider so it means uh, what exactly here it is uh, it means you cannot add the same provider multiple times under one projection but uh, you can add again as a join it means for example this projection contains this part provider sr underscore sales one i can do again i can join this projection again with the same provider simply go to join condition here and select mine you know select the same same ads for i am selected again now it means a part provider can be appear more than once in a composite provider you know that's how it is uh, doing this 
so that is one point and the next point here is uh, you can now define sql filter uh, the fil but you can def define an sql filter this feature should only be used by experts the filter expression must, must be written in hana means on the part providers you can define an sql filter it means part provider means like uh, you know not at the base level not at the base level but uh, at the projection node level you are getting an option to create or edit sql filter so filters are nothing but you know uh, like our vex query how we create filters here also we can uh, create filters but uh, not that much flexible so i am trying to create a filter at a union node level okay so what i am just for to showcase you how it works uh, within the double quotes we need to write a column name material i am hard coding my uh, composite provider to bring data only for the m1 material material is equal to m1 and clicking on ok button activate generally we don't use this uh, sap what happening locked by someone let's close this uh, and reopen this one more time <coughs> So let's activate this once. It is coming like this. I deleted that lock entry. Now, if you see here uh, on union node level, what I'm doing, I'm trying to create one SQL filter. So uh, within the double quotes, I'm writing my column name. The column name is nothing but the column in the composite provider material is equal to within the single quotes, I'm uh, hard coding my material M1 static value click on click on ok and then activate sap saying this is only for the expert use so generally we provide filters via bex query so on very rare cases where and all you know it's a must we can use this kind of functionality okay it's not uh, uh, thoroughly used so go to here i'm selecting my composite provider here earlier i got three materials right but i am expecting now only one material because of the filter I applied on the com, you see now I am getting only M1 material because M2 and M3 got filtered out because of the filter I applied at union level. So we can apply filter and the filter expression can be written in HANA SQL, HANA SQL script. It is saying HANA SQL. So now what else? Uh, we can now define calculate columns. So this feature is already available, uh, I think. Um, but we, yes, I will show you one more example how to. Uh, I am removing this filter as I don't need it. I'm deleting this filter. Now you we can create calculated columns at composite provider level. Okay. How to create? Right click here. Create, create calculate column. Just for an example, what I am showing you is a quan um, calculate column C A L C underscore quantity. Okay. This is the what I am giving the name here. And uh, my type is key figure I am giving. Even characteristic type calculate columns also you can create. But for uh, easy purpose, I am doing this one. And what I am doing? I'm, I am multiplying whatever key figure I have, GQ1, I am multiplying it with 5, okay? GQUAN is the column name I am giving under double quotes into 5. Click on OK. So I am done with creating one calculate column. So for a calculate column, there is no mapping. So calculate columns take the reference from the existing columns in the target structure, okay? I am activating this uh, composite provider. Activate successfully. I am going to here. And trying to see data preview of this composite provider. Mm, yeah, sometimes, sometimes what happen? I am not able to reflect. It is not reflecting properly uh, on the data preview. Yeah, I think I need to close my analysis for office and uh, reopen it in order to reflect that. Okay, I closed my analysis for office uh, and I am trying to reopen my, you know, uh, system to check that example. SR underscore PCL5. Yeah, now you see that new newly called 830. So if I take in this uh, material into row section, 
So, you know, 25 into 5, which is 5 into 5, 25. So, 25, everywhere it is multiplying with 5. So, this is how you can create calculated columns and you can create, you know, um, from date you can create a month, year, you know, a different offset functionalities also you can use and create your calculated columns. If you go to edit, you can see, you know, a vast range of, you know, scale functions given by SAP uh, to derive newly calculated columns. Okay, so I hope uh, um, the topic is clear for you. So we, I try to show all the new 2.2 enhancements at the composite product level. I'm stopping recording.